Hi students, uh, welcome to my uh, video lectures on process plant operator training using a simulator. Before I go into the topic, I recommend and strongly recommend you follow from the beginning of my lectures. Because once we go to the higher uh, levels of control, uh, you need to learn all these basic levels of control. Let's say if I go to the distillation column or if I go to the CSTR level and you people need to uh, make sure that it should follow for the beginning of the videos otherwise you cannot able to understand okay let us go to the uh, uh, today's topic which is called split range con uh, pressure control because uh, sometimes uh, why this is necessary uh, the name itself called uh, it will try to operate two walls simultaneously Example for for, uh, for specific uh, flow rates, it is trying to target one wall. Beyond the requirement, it is going to target another wall. Because in the process plants, uh, things are not in your control. Uh, sometimes more the required amount of process stream comes into the vessel. In such cases, uh, we try to control with the one wall. What happens if the valve reaches its hundred percent capacity? If still more flow is coming into the I mean vessel, it has to. Uh, went it through other valve and in technical sense uh, people use it for the flaring purpose uh, sometimes imagine a distillation column is there a va overhead vapor uh, is coming into the reflex drums uh, sometimes beyond flow rate is coming to the reflex drum uh, re reflex drums don't have the capacity to hold uh, that much amount of flow i mean flow into the system and that's that is why when uh, there is something called split range control systems where beyond the capacity is coming to the into the chambers or no it will try to operate the second valve uh, which is ideal for some amount of time so it will going to flare it off from the uh, through the other valve let us go to the simulator more to understand more about the split range pressure control okay this is uh, how the split range pressure control system looks like imagine uh, a stream i mean a process stream from unit a is going to the process stream uh, to the unit b so the objective of this particular vessel is to control the pressure which is set at 5 kg per centimeter square okay uh, the, the presently the signal is 35 percent we'll talk about the signal a bit later imagine uh, i mean see that a thousand meter cube per hour of feed is coming in and thousand meter cube per hour of feed is going out at present no everything is happens at a steady state though what happens uh, sometimes uh, as i told you there is a few things are not in our control imagine some amount of excess stream that comes into the vessel with, with, with the flow rate what happens this controller what is the job of a control is to maintain the pressure even though few more amount of stream is coming into the vessel uh, this uh, the controller will send a signal to this particular valve uh, to send a more flow rate out so that to maintain this particular pressure imagine it's now valve is 70 percent open imagine i have released more flow into the system uh, this 70 percent of this opening i uh, will try if more more is the amount of flow more is the opening of this particular valve imagine beyond the capacity that we have already you have because you have released more flow the, now the 70 percent goes to the 100 percent imagine what happens beyond 100 percent the valve don't have any capacity to open more in such cases beyond the capacity of coming beyond the 100 percent that when the controller will send a signal to the second valve it is going to get opened because you, we have to maintain this vessel uh, in a reflex drum we cannot go out of control so what happens in such cases the it will remove some amount of stream through this valve to flare that means to release okay this is what the whole objective this you can observe 0 to 50 percent and 51 to 100 that means initial signal 0 to 50 percentage will uh, the control will send a signal to this valve and 50 to 100 percent this controller will signal to the second valve this is called a split range 50 percent to this valve 50 percent to that valve what today we are going to do is let us say i'll try to this hand indicating con valve con uh, and what i will uh, now it is a presently 50 percent what happens if i increase to 70 percent or 80 percent more flow is going into the systems what you people need to observe is this number this number that's valve percentage opening the signal percentage and amount of flows that is going in amount of flows that is going out the moment this signal goes beyond 50 percent that means the valve have reached 100 percent capacity beyond 50 percent this of the signal will as controller will send a signal to the second valve 
this is what the whole object do now you see what i'm going to do is increase the amount of flow to this chamber the pressure is going to raise okay it is the, now what is job of a pressure control is to open this well and try to control the pressure inside the vessel okay once it reaches to its capacity and beyond the flow is coming into the chamber then this pressure control i mean this controller will send a signal to the second valve okay let us observe that let me start the simulation it is in the room. see what happens 50 to 80 okay and now i open this valve to 80 percent that means more flow is coming into the chamber now see the more flow started coming in the chamber the pressure start raising the what is the job of a control is to maintain this pressure so it will try to uh, open the valve earlier it was 70 percent now it is the valve opening is higher because more flow is coming into this time observe this percentage 39 okay there is the moment it reaches to the 100 percent that means that time the signal will be 50 percent here that means beyond this 50 percent signal the second valve is going to presently it is in a closed condition imagine what happens when the signal reaches to 50 percent okay let me fast forward the time so that to increase the simulation time yeah. see 42 64 43 now you see, observe this also the moment it is 100 hit 100 the signal will be 50 percent here that is called 0 to 50 percent this valve is going to get you know operated okay observe uh, 89 90 let me fast forward things a bit higher otherwise i don't know i'll take more time okay now you see 45 46 okay 47 47 this is 94 and see more flows is coming in and because i have opened the more amount of valve see pressure is can try it will the control is trying to regulate the pressure using this valve the moment it reaches 50 percent that is is already 100 percent okay it's 97 98 this is 49 okay now observe this valve it is about to get opened Okay, the moment it touches 50% uh, signal, it is going to open. See now the valve is open. It is the first valve is still operating. It's, it's operating at its 100% capacity. But what happens? There is more flow beyond the capacity of this valve. It is send a signal to the second valve now to regulate the particular pressure. So that is what happens. See, it is trying to regulate the pressure through this valve now. Okay, uh, this is what uh, because it's it's just a pressure. Uh, controlling the pressure sometimes it happens that level split range level control can happen there are many things happen within uh, i hope you understand the split range pressure control system normally uh, is for the safety purpose and so people try to implement this kind of you know uh, controller hope uh, you have understood well hope uh, we have given i mean uh, uh, good idea about the split rate pressure control please keep following and uh, you're going to learn more about the system and uh, thank you this is dr sunindra signing off